So I just wanted to show everyone how to supercharge three very common pens. And by supercharge, I mean greatly enhance the writing quality of those pens. Uh, so we're gonna do the Zebra F701. It's a pen I've talked about a lot on this channel. The Cross Click and the Pilot Dr. Grip. These are all standard pens, very common, uh, and none of which I find to write particularly well. So here are some very easy remedies for that. Uh, first up is the Dr. Grip. These are very common. Uh, they're, they're nice pens and they're very comfortable if you have to use them for extended periods of time, but I don't really like the ink in it. And changing that ink is not particularly easy because it uses this non-standard grip, a uh, non-standard refill. Uh, it's sort of a gel refill and it uh, looks like a Parker G2 size, but it's not. And if you try to put something else in here, it's probably not going to fit. So throw that aside. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not great. And what you want to replace it with is this refill, which is just excellent. This is the Pilot BRFN-30M-B. It's a 1.0 millimeter. It's also sold in other sizes like a 0.7, but I really like in this 0.1. And this is, uh, it is from Pilot, it is the same size, so no modifications required. And just a quick caveat is it sells for about $5, so it's an expensive refill, but the good news is it writes really well. This is from Pilot's Acro series, that's A-C-R-O, and uh, it's not very common here in the US, but it is really, really great. So do a quick sample, and this is on a Clairefontaine, so a smooth, paper. So this is the Dr. Grip upgraded versus the and we'll look at those more closely in a minute. So that is the Dr. Grip. Next up we have this pen. This is the Cross Click. It's not a cheap pen, it sells for over $15. Uh, it's nice and small, very light, uh, full metal body, cool aesthetics. If you like that cross look to it, comes in a bunch of fun colors like this metallic blue. And uh, this pen is not one I use very often unless I don't like the refill. It comes with this cross uh, 0.7 millimeter slim gel rolling ball refill. Uh, and some people like this, some people don't. I'm uh, firmly in the Doton camp. I found this one to be very scratchy and uh, just not that enjoyable. The good news is that with some very small degree of work, you could upgrade your Pilot Click to use a really nice Parker G2 style refill like this Easy Flow 9000 from Schmidt. And it's very simple, all you have to do is leave the existing spring in there, slip this in, and you are gonna get some hesitation right here, but just wiggle it and it'll go through. It's a, and it's an extremely tight fit. You'll get a little bit more hesitation here, but just wiggle it and you'll go through. And uh, what happens is that this Parker G2 style refill is just a little bit short, but it's not really clear that it's short because the difference between these two is minor. And also there are some contours in here, a little cup shape thing that means it's not that easy just to extend this refill. What you really need to do is you need to extend it with something as small that is smaller than the cup. And uh, I use this little piece of plastic and this is convenient because it actually comes with the EasyFlow 9000. The EasyFlow 9000 will ship like this with that tip protected, pull this off and you can get a sharp pair of scissors or a knife and just very carefully cut this. And you only need, you know, whatever that is, maybe two millimeters. Drop that in here, wiggle it until it's flat. This has to go in here quite carefully, but it'll get easier over time and see if you could see how that's flat. You could probably just make it out. 
This is a pressure fit. And you can see smooth action and perfect extension right there. So now we have the cross click upgraded. And this is the original, you probably hear it as it writes. Here, little scratchy. Again, maybe that's just mine. Maybe it's everyone, who knows. Lastly, we have the F701 from Zebra. I've talked a lot about upgrading this pen. Uh, I really like putting a gel refill in this, but that requires finding a kind of a weird pen from Zebra or from Pilot or whoever you want and finding exactly the right refill, tracking that down, cutting it to size. It's a little bit of a pain. Uh, so here, what I recommend doing is getting one of these. This is the F-Series refill, again, from Zebra, and it is the uh, 1.6 millimeter bold point. It is ballpoint, so you do get the ballpoint, the versatility of a ballpoint pen in here, but uh, when you move to the 1.6 millimeter, you're putting a lot down, a lot more ink down, and the surface of that ball mechanism is much larger, so it writes more smoothly. And here's that refill in the 1.6 millimeter. It is a standard uh, refill from the F series, but it's not sold stock with the F701. Uh, some of the other pens use it. I forget which model. Uh, and then all you have to do is just put it in place. Uh, and it even includes, as you can see, it includes a spring. So you're set to go take out the original spring, put in the new one. And the one thing I would recommend is you could see the length of those two springs. They're actually the same spring. All, all you're gonna to wanna to do to get them to work is get the spring and pull it out and extend it a little bit so it's a little bit longer than it would stop, be at stock and then you're gonna be good to go. Put it in place, screw it down. You can see it does not stick out there. Click, and that's just a little bit of that gel and full retraction. If it, if after you close it, the pen is sticking out, the tip is sticking out a little bit, all you have to do is pull that spring and lengthen it so it uh, is fully exposed. Not uh, fully hidden, rather. And now, lastly, we have the F701 upgraded. And then uh, I was using a gel refill in here, but here's the F, it's a little bit older, 701. And if you wanna zoom in, there are those changes. The big difference here is gonna come from how these feel to write. Uh, and I think you're gonna have a much more enjoyable writing experience with each of these pens after they've been upgraded. So any questions or comments, please hit me up below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.